Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about buying and building. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, how would you suggest a software engineering company find the quote unquote happy medium between build and buy decisions? So that's a pretty good question. Uh, the way that I see it is that building and buying is similar to how you allocate responsibilities between uh, f four different tasks, if that makes sense. Uh, similar to how you might have in a company, you might have you have a range of people, you trust your people, you know what they're good at and you know what they're not so good at and you know the different tasks that you're dealing with and if you truly know your own business you know who is the appropriate person for which job usually. It's the same thing you deal with in any organization or like if you're talking about like the military or something like that you have different things that you have different risk levels at uh, on and you have different th different sort like m people who are going to match a profile that suits that specific task now in the decision of buying or building your own thing it really comes down to the thing that you are buying how well it fits the needs of your company and the most important thing in my opinion is is the problem that you're dealing with something that is tailored to this decision to, the, like is this uh, system tailored to solving that problem or is it circumstantial uh, and that becomes a very important observation to make because if you don't make it it's similar it, it becomes a, it becomes very difficult to undo that problem later uh, let me explain that a little bit guys so and a classic example of when you are buying something you should be building is when for example you have an internal system for a large corporation this company has hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of different products and different stakeholders and so forth and what they do is that they buy Salesforce that is a big 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 mistake uh, on average uh, unless you have as I've said before uh, as I was saying unless you have a very good matching depending on the business if it's a very complicated business model that you are dealing with a complicated uh, company structure this is a very bad investment the reason being because the odds of you being able to scale that with an ever-growing need and complexities is actually it's very unlikely in such a scenario I like to make the analogy what you're do doing is basically that you're buying a you're buying a off-the-shelf uh, suit and it's gonna it's not gonna fit uh, all that well in comparison to something that is tailor-made and the tailor-made suit is something that you can retrofit you can update it and you can make the necessary uh, uh, changes to it so that it continues fitting but when you do something like this and you buy an off-the-shelf solution for something that is highly complicated and very custom towards your business or towards the customer it becomes almost impossible for you to make the make the choices that you want because no one is uh, no company no matter how amazing the product is going to be able to foresee how your company model and your domain uh, domain is going to change over a period of time and it really only is a matter of time usually before a situation like that turns into a compromise between different ad hoc processes and uh, like uh, you're, you're basically going to create a situation where you're going to lock yourself in and limit your ability to grow as a company most likely but on the other hand then you have situations where it doesn't really make sense for you to build something in-house and the way that I usually identify something that isn't really necessary to um, to build because it's a simple thing to buy is uh, a system that is isolated and basically the same regardless of uh, who is doing the work it's the kind of comes back to the whole uh, 
how do you run a company? Well, if you're going to set up your market strategy or your company brand, you probably want someone who is fairly intimate, has fairly intimate knowledge of your company, your products, and the market. But if you have, if you're trying to hire somebody who's going to, you know, work in the logistics department and move boxes to trucks or something like that, you don't have to go heavy on the like the you know it's not then it's about finding someone who's going to be able to do that job because the job itself is fairly simple and that is exactly how you should think about when you buy something is this an off-the-shelf problem are you buying an off-the-shelf solution it's like uh, buying a uh, toilet paper or buying a phone connect like a uh, uh, telecommunications from a phone company or something like that. Uh, it's not a complicated problem and it's a basically standardized problem. An example in our world is things like cloud providers is uh, it's a big area but you can make it simpler. Logging for example no one is going to need you need to reinvent their own logging system on average unless their business model is literally like you know very uh, tightly coupled to very very custom needs on logging but in all likelihood it's better for you to buy that solution than to reinvent it yourself because it's simply it's it's not something that's going to change all that much and then you have to make an analysis of what's the cost of this because if you're going to build your own logging system if you have a really really trivial situation like we're talking something very very simple maybe you're I don't know able to get away with just doing like using maybe even the uh, the file system you might be able to use your operating systems in built-in logging system or something like that well then you don't really have to buy it because your needs are so simple that you can just do it yourself because the cost of doing it yourself is so low but if you are dealing with a more complicated situation where you're going to need something more extravagant where you might need to be able to search for things or you need to have a centralized logging in some way that can be shared between different people etc etc it, then it's uh, a question of how much time is that going to cost you and what's the cost of actually buying the uh, buying this solution but the question of if you should buy it or you should not buy it is as I said like that's the red thread how risky is this for your future scalability and how likely are you to save on development time and put that into something that is more valuable than making your own solution I've said so to other developers as well when it comes to our own tooling for example you know when should I buy my uh, when should I use a third-party library when should I build my own thing and as I said it really comes down to risk management and time investment if you see that you're dealing with a very standard simple problem that is like there's a hundred libraries for the same thing then you can just use a third-party library for it or if the cost of you building your own thing is so high that it's actually going to be a waste for you then you might reach for something that is already finished but on average if you are unsure or if it's a very business logic heavy part of the code it's better for you to consider building it yourself because the, it's very unlikely that that very specific thing is gonna have like a perfect solution that is like provided by a third party because usually nobody knows your domain as well as you do so what I want you to take away from this is that the way that I usually think about buying or building software within a company it comes down to how tightly coupled uh, is the the thing that I need to the d domain that I'm dealing with and how complicated is the domain. If I'm dealing with a very simple problem then maybe you can buy everything. Like if you're building a static website for example it's just going to be like a demo site or like a promo thing then you don't really have to build much in terms of customization. You can like just use any uh, third party because the problem is so standard. But for non-standard problems with a high risk of mutating over time it's better in my opinion to build things in-house because simply put it's unlikely that all the customization and very because you, it's good to think about a business a business in this case guys where a business life cycle it's very complicated like you have especially in the large companies guys they have all kinds of needs and things move all the time and they want to try things out they forget about it they have new projects then they have old products that still need to be maintained etc etc it's a very high highly dynamic, highly uh, changing 
uh, environment and those systems will not be able to work in the way that the company desires unless you have something that is equally flexible and nothing is in essence ever going to beat building something in-house if flexibility is the thing that you're after. Have a great day.